If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I post a new Tom Brady video every day. You can't even put in perspective what, what his career has been. Um, there, there needs to be something named after him. I, I don't know what that is. I don't yes. know what it looks like. But there needs to be something significant within the NFL that reflects on what he contributed to our game. Because I really don't think, and, and, and I really don't think anyone represented our game better or represented themselves better than Tom Brady. And I've told him that, and I've said it to a lot of people, and I really believe that. We uh -huh. know TB12 yeah. is the GOAT. Yeah. That's it. He's going to be immortalized. He will be in Canton. I was wrong. Sorry, Tom. I said you were going to retire after the game. I think you're going to run it back and try to get another one. He loses the AFC Championship in 06, comes back and goes 18-0 the following season before losing in the Super Bowl, recalibrates and comes back and wins again in 2014. Loses the 2017 Super Bowl to the Eagles, reassesses and comes back the next year to win against the Rams. I mean, guy won three out of his first four, right? And that's where we're already saying if Burrow wins here, then he's on pace. And we're going to be looking at every kid who comes out. Can he catch Tom? This whole pace, the, that, that thing about pace is, you know, a little mm -hmm. crazy. In week two, they'll say this person's on pace to, to you know, have, <laughs> you know, 4,000 yards receiving. I, 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 you know, pace is a little bit overrated, but... Yeah, I, I think that when people start trying to put into perspective somebody at a young age yes. achieving what I, I, I don't think I, I know records are made to be broken and all that. And we don't think there was going to be another Michael Jordan and maybe there still hasn't been. Right. You know, and all that. I, I can't imagine anyone ever doing what Tom Brady has done, because as much as what we're just I just mentioned about on pace and we heard it last year with Mahomes right. and if Mahomes beats Brady then then he's one step closer you still have to potentially most likely win four after turning 37 and the most remarkable like you say how do you put it in perspective the one way to put it close enough in perspective about Brady is that you and I and all of us are shocked and disappointed of 44 year old retired yeah. because yeah. We're, we're like Oh, my gosh. I mean, the last touchdown happen. pass he threw was over Jalen Ramsey yeah. in an NFC divisional game with a yeah. game on the line, and he needed to throw it. And, yes, that's a Hall of Famer he's throwing to in Evans, but it was perfect. And he led the league in everything. He's in everything. amazing. In everything. Uh, the Tampa Bay Bucks are the Super Bowl champs. Wow. Tom Brady has won seven. Vivian, we love you. Careful with the trophy. Brady rules the NFL world at 43 years old in the first year with a new team and a new conference and a pandemic Super Bowl. It's insane. The Bucks win, and it was never close. At 44, that's that's hard. I mean, really hard. But I was hoping selfishly he'd play another year. I knew 45 is what he mentioned that he wanted to play to. And the great year that he had this year, I just figured Tom's a guy who, when he sets goals, he achieves them. I really thought he would come back and play another year. Well, I think Aaron touched on it a little bit. And you talk about competitors. Tom is probably the greatest competitor that we've ever seen in our game. I mean, when you listen to him, when you see him, you, you hear about people talk about the way he prepares. Just a great competitor. So I think that's one thing that we're going to miss from Tom as well. I've really enjoyed him being with the with the Bucks because with them being in the NFC, I got a chance to see him a lot, got a chance to talk to him a lot, and got to know him a lot better than I did. And selfishly, I hate that he retired. And I probably speak for a lot of oh, football yeah. fans out there because he's playing so great. But it is a, it is such a commitment. I mean, forget what he's missed out on with the family because you do miss out on quite a bit. But putting your body through that at 44 years old, I don't think people understand what he had to do during the week in order to get ready to play the next game. It, it's not easy. It was hard for me and I was 34. What's going through your mind in a game, particularly in a playoff game? How much do you see? Do you see the crowd? Do you hear the crowd? You probably don't. I, I don't hear much. I don't hear much. I think when you have that inner thought in your head always going, you don't hear anything. And we're playing a team like Pittsburgh. 70,000 fans and they're screaming as loud as they can. They're stomping on the bleachers. And you realize they can be loud. They're going to have no effect on what happens on the field. Is it like you have blinders on? Is it like you're in a tunnel? Is it like you're in the, playing the video game? Is it like are you completely focused? Are you completely locked in? Oh, yeah. To what you have to do? Oh, yeah. Do you notice things around you? No. You don't. You don't hear the crowd. You don't hear. You don't feel the weather. You don't feel the cold. You just see 
what you need to do. This is what we should be talking about when people call him the GOAT. It's not the seven rings or the 10 appearances or all the records, the accolades that go along with it. It's that he fails. He falls short and then says, mm, whatever. He gets back up, puts his helmet on, jogs into the arena and takes another shot. And that's the man in the arena attitude. Tom has been challenged more in recent history, certainly, with huge games than anyone I could recollect. And he stepped up every yeah. time. And, really? and he, you know, he, what he proved in Tampa is, yes, he had great coaching. And I'm a huge Bill Belichick fan. And how can you not be? And the greatest coach ever. And, you know, he had a great support group around him in New England to flourish. But when he goes to Tampa and did what he did, it, it really put an exclamation mark on just exactly, if anyone doubted his, his contributions mm -hmm. or could have another quarterback done what he did in New England, the answer is no. I mean, he elevates players around him. He's competitive beyond anything you can imagine. Uh, there's not a guy, this is the remarkable thing, especially as he's gotten older. I don't think there's a guy who's ever shared a locker room with him that doesn't feel like they have a personal relationship with him. And I can tell you, that's hard. It's hard to do. But Tom makes it a priority for him. And Do you feel like it's maybe going to be a little bit of a transition year post-Tommy? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, obviously, we're going to miss Tom. That's a huge blow. Um, one of the best teammates ever. Obviously, the best player of all time. Most accomplished player in sports history. But... I mean, he definitely helped instill a lot of things in this program. Typically, when you ask these athletes, like in Brady's position on the after the game, what about the future? Are you coming back next year? They say, oh, I'm going to enjoy this one now. I'm going to think about it. Brady Strip says, no, I'm back. I'm coming back. He tells Nance, right there, I'm, I'm back. So there's every reason he to believe he'll be back. better next year. He's back. He's here. And uh, get used to it. Buckle up. He's a great guy. He's a great father. He's a great quarterback uh he just exudes excellence and i'm really proud of him yeah one way to get to tell if somebody played with him is they refer to him as tommy if i said give me two things mike that you took away from tom that either you didn't know or that surprised you or just two things about tom that you will always remember i always remember how he attacked the game and how he prepared i mean i've heard about it I mean, obviously, you, you have to be prepared if you're that accomplished. But the way he prepares, it's probably nobody prepares like him. Uh, he made sure everybody knew what they were doing week in, week out. He put in the work. Win or lose, he's going to prepare the same way. He took care of his body. He brought the TB12 facility to Tampa. And, man, it was, was it helpful. You know, I, I missed one game in the last two years. Um, had a lot of injuries, but the, the injury process um, went faster. I recovered faster, you know, having TB12 there. So... I mean, those two things were, I'll, I'll always remember that. That's it for this video. I post a new Tom Brady video every day. So please like and subscribe. That way you'll always have a new Tom Brady video to watch every single day.